celebrating the 700th Supercross race in the history of this amazing sport, and it didn't disappoint at the Daytona Supercross with Eli Tomac being the first there. Watch him on the inside tight, but also watch what happens on the outside. Yeah, here you go. You see Cooper Webb brings the 94 pin rocks and all the way to the bales. Boom! Eli Tomac slips right up there. He had that second from the inside gate spot. Meanwhile, Webb and Roxon weren't too far either, but they had such different outcomes after turn one. Look at that. You see all those guys getting by the 94, Ken Roxon, who had his work cut out for him. But this guy, Lee, I'm going to tell you right now, he was on a mission. He was on a mission to get his fifth, yes, you're hearing me right, <laughs> fifth Daytona Supercross win and tie Ricky Carmichael. It was meant to be tonight. Meanwhile, Ken Roxon staged an amazing comeback. Well, he did, especially midway through that race. You could see he didn't want to lose too much ground. He wanted to keep the pressure on this guy. But this was the pass for second. The last rhythm lane he gets by Aaron Plessinger for second place. Cooper Webb does. Cooper Webb, that helped his championship hopes as he got to within two of Ken Roxon. But it was all about Eli Tomac. Didn't have the best heat race, that didn't matter. At the track he loves, he got to do this burnout for a fifth time. Draws level with the GOAT, Ricky Carmichael, the only two five-time winners at the World Center of Racing. He draws within 24 of Roxon's lead. This could very well be the turning point in his title defense. Well done, Eli Tomac.